I'm Michael Sabo, Senior Commodities Broker with RJO Futures, uh, coming to you here from the floor of the CME Group, bringing some commentary here in the oil market. So let's get started here. What do we have going on here? Well, you know, oil prices have been, uh, as we know here in the upper 90 range here, currently trading here uh, below $98 a barrel. Um, but we did see prices here that uh, have been pushing here closer to that 99 uh, area. Uh, EI data, EIA data did come out here. You know, most traders were looking for a draw. They were thinking between half a million, about 750,000 barrels. Uh, we did end up getting a build of about 300,000 barrels, and that's bringing the total uh, stockpile here now to about 394 million barrels. So the market does appear to be uh, well supplied, but yet crude prices here recently have been uh, kind of pushing higher. Uh, you start to look at the uh, short-term uh, technical indicators. We are in pretty overbought uh, territory. And you know some traders have suggested we should, we could see crude prices here touch up around $100 a barrel. Uh, my personal opinion, though, is I think that you know with the recent uh, FOMC commentary here that came out here, we are starting to see things taper here a little bit. And you notice here how the equities market's reacting to that. So we could start to see some weakness there. And if we continue to see weakness on the equity side of the market, I think that will uh, start to uh, move into uh, the energy market. Uh, we're starting to see the dollar starting to firm up here on some of this news. So that could help put crude prices under pressure between the technical indicators, the supply situation, and the demand still remaining very questionable. It certainly does look like a good setup here to the downside, but you got to be a little bit cautious here. We do have a lot of uh, fear premium that has been built into the market recently. We've seen that step up with the, with the big conflict that's going in in Syria. So there always is a possibility if we see escalation there uh, to see prices uh, move higher. But I think the fundamentals and the technicals here in the short term are pointing to lower prices so there are some ideas on how you can play that uh, uh, market so you know give me a call shoot me an email we can get into more detail there taking a look at that 200 day moving average uh, we're trading well above that that 200 day here basis the August oil is down around the 9460 area so there certainly is some room uh, for those prices uh, to pull back um, you know, again, you know, if you look at how that market has been uh, performing here after we kind of took out that double top we saw there in May, uh, we are starting to get into some of that market consolidation. So we could be uh, setting up to lose some momentum in that market. Keep in mind that futures trading does involve a substantial amount of risk, may not be suitable for all traders. Good luck and good trading.